Hello, a very good morning, mic check. Sushmita, can you confirm that if you're able to hear me? Yes. That's great. A very warm welcome to one and all present over here, students. Welcome to Core India Code Day 2 over here right now. And I can see the students are participating at gradual speed. By this time yesterday, we had nearly 200 and even now we have 200 students. That's lovely. And we are also having students on YouTube live. Thank you so much for joining. And Mohammed remembers today it's supposed to be Minecraft. Yeah. Okay, fine. We'll get into it. We'll start. We'll start for sure. We'll start for sure. So, uh, Pranjal, then we have Somindu, you're back again. I can see Shivanshi, then Havish, then Arnesh. Uh, these are some of the students whom I have seen yesterday as well. Anya, then Archisa, you're back again. Nishka, then Swasti, hi. Uh, Pragyan, good to see you. Uh, we have Shanvi, then Ritoja, then, then Ananya. Okay, okay, Yuvan, Arav, Dashit. Okay, I'm going to stop the chat for some time because... Very, very good morning to one and all. Uh, no, we can't. Samarth, no, I'm not going to talk about free and not free and, and things like that. And, and you can't unmute for sure today. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just, uh, you know, uh, talk to you in one way. Suppose if anybody's interested to talk to me, to know more about the program and the coding stuff and how we are going to conduct this coding classes uh, throughout the year, you can join the demo class that's going to be present in that super teacher website. And in that demo class, I'll have some set of students. I'll give you the time slots and their unmuting option will definitely be there. And we can have direct question answer sessions. If you have any doubts related to how the coding program will be, what is the fee structure? Uh, when are the classes going to happen? Will it happen only in the weekends or weekdays? What, 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 do you, what is going to be, uh, you know, who are going to be the trainers? What is going to be the topic? everything we can discuss in the demo class. So you can go to superteacher.in website and you can sign up for demo class if you want, or else you can di directly sign up for the program as well. So we have, let me call out some, hey, uh, who is this girl? Drishti, hi Drishti. I remember you, hi. Okay, that's great. Uh, Navdha, then Shuparna. Yeah, even yesterday Shuparna, what he was doing is, he was using this for a long time. Where is it? 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 I can't see. Yeah, this one. Even I'm using it right now. Yeah, I, I, I really like these video filters that are present out there. Uh, it's more like an augmented reality. Let me uh, become a bunny. Like it's more like a mouse. I don't know. Uh, the cat. No, this is Linus. <laughs> Linus. I can't be a Linus. Drishti can be a Linus. Okay. Let me let me try something else. How about this? Okay, this, this will also should suit Drishti and not me. Yeah, with one eyes and here we go. And the glasses, 3D glasses over here. Yeah, these are nice filters that are present on Zoom and most of you are actually using it and that's totally fine. You can, you can use it. We'll, I'll be using it multiple times afterwards, but right now let us get on to know other people and let's start with the session. And, and we have Drishni, we have Advait. Riyanch is back again with his paper. I can see Meher and Vernika. Okay, these are some regular students. Hey, Sharanya, long time. Yeah, how are you? I hope, uh, yeah, Sharanya it is, right? Yes, I can see Sharanya. I've met her before. Shitties, then Arav, then Ranvijay. Yes, I was just searching for Ranvijay. Where is it? Yeah, then we have Pranjal. Uh, that's Kashvi. Okay, Kashvi, you have a sister with you? That's nice. Say hi. Okay. <laughs> Okay, let's start with the session, Yashraj. Okay, here we go. So as promised, what I'm going to do right now is we'll begin with artificial intelligence and machine learning concepts for small students of grade one to five. We've already learned the concepts of artificial intelligence a little bit yesterday. You remember, we, we discussed that uh, the most important organ of a body responsible for thought processes, five sense organs. I'll enable the chat right now. Don't worry. If I enable the chat right now, probably you can all talk. Uh, yes, you can talk now. Uh, Ira, you remember that yesterday we saw a video of a truck uh, which went from one place to another without the drivers present in it. Yeah. Uh, do you remember that yesterday we saw some uh, screenshots of some movies? Uh, Shorjit, you remember? Yeah, we saw some movie names. Uh, what was the first movie name? I think it was Real Steel. Um, then we saw something related to iRobot. 
uh, we saw Wall E as well, and there was one more that I'm forgetting. What else? Baymax, exactly, Baymax. So these were some of the movies that we saw, and and post that we also played on multiple platforms. One was Rock, Paper, and Scissor. Yeah. After playing Rock, Paper, and Scissor, the computer was trying to understand what I am doing, and it was trying to replicate the same. Uh, that's where AI comes into picture. And then we came uh, to another game called as uh, you know the place where it had asked me to draw couch and toilet and all and i was not able to draw you remember it was quick draw quick draw is another software which we played and exactly exactly yeah so these are uh, some of the things that we did and and uh, yeah mona lisa as well <laughs> we played another interesting game uh, which you should have played by now i do not know if you tried this called as cementris did you try cementris no try it again like cementris is a fantastic game on which you can you know uh, figure out words uh, uh, every word is associated with another word. The closest association will will crush it. I mean, the words get vanished. You should try that. It's it's like uh, the candy crush of words, something like that, I should say. And it's a fantastic game to learn about uh, natural language processing of artificial intelligence. There are two components to artificial intelligence. You remember? One was the, the names, which is called as NLP, natural language processing. What was the other one? What was the other one? Come on, tell me. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Everybody, Pranjal is right. Anybody else? Okay, computer vision. Absolutely, computer vision. Computer vision was a second character. So just like the way we we see things, computer also sees things, and this is called as computer vision. And just like the way we read and write, computer ties to you know read and write. And and this particular phenomenon is is called as natural language processing. So these are some of the activities that we did yesterday. And while finishing, uh, yeah, face recognition as well. While finishing, I, I said that tomorrow I'll introduce you all to Minecraft. And that's what I'm going to do right now. As I told, we're going to do the same thing. So I have another laptop connected over here. Hey, no, I didn't commit for Roblox. Roblox may AI, I could not find. I tried. But yeah, Minecraft has got a lot of things regarding that. And I'm not going to play Minecraft throughout the session. It's going to be only for five to 10 minutes to give you an idea of what are the options that are present on Minecraft, which could be used from education point of view. Uh, parents, if you're present out there, this, this could be a good game for the students to uh, have uh, you know their own creativity of construction or uh, decision making skills uh, collection of information. Uh, you know, we can, we can actually do that. So that's the reason. Um, uh, I'm going to do that. Okay, skeletons are there. The mobs will come, but no, I'm not going to go to that extent. We'll, we'll just, for all the students who are going to see Minecraft for the first time, Divyansh and Sharvin, I'm going to show you how to actually you know, get into it. Uh, today we are playing Minecraft. Probably some other time we'll play some other game. But right now, Minecraft, here we No, I'm not giving the link. It's going to be a solo player game. Creepers, zombies. Okay, let's let's go. Let's go. I'm going to disable the chat for some time because uh, the game will hang in that case. So let me... In a dragon. Okay. Okay. I've disabled the chat and now I need to connect the PC in which Minecraft is present. And I'll introduce you to that. And here we go. One, two, three. That's perfect. I share my screen. Okay. I become super dark over here. And then I get into Minecraft. Okay, yeah. So now this is the place wherein uh, you know uh, I'm. I was learning the process of. Okay, <laughs> today also you want to go with annotation, yeah? Do you really want to go to go with annotation? Okay. 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 Go ahead. I am not stopping you for some time. You can. You can just because you woke up early today. Yeah. You can. You can do this. You can do this. Okay. Green color is not used. Kamlesh, Divyesh. Uh, Vikashni, Naman, Shanvi, <laughs> you like to spoil my screen, right? Now it looks pretty. I don't know, somewhere it looks pretty according to me. Hitika, Nimit, Rajendra, Vikanshi, aha, aha. Okay. Oh, now it's going to go. It went away. See, <laughs> I told you, <laughs> I told you. So here in this case, what I'm going to do is, I am going to share the sound of the computer and share the screen as well and disable the annotation now nobody can annotate perfect and after disabling the annotation i am going to get onto minecraft 
and here we are so students i am there in the gameplay of minecraft wherein i have this uh, setup of uh, you know uh, education edition now here in this case let me go to zoom first and disable a few things now okay where is minecraft here it is it's taking some time to load so whenever i am playing with you know minecraft and running zoom parallelly it takes a lot of time so whenever you're going to play this make sure you're not connected to anything else and here we are so right now i am there in a place where i was learning on chalk uh, boards and and boards over here uh, like you can place the boards let me save and exit and come back so for the first time if anybody is playing minecraft what you can actually do is you can go to minecraft education edition yeah it will it will have its own resources the only condition for us to have minecraft uh, education edition is that you need to have uh, the outlook uh, or the microsoft account some of you are able to hear the sound perfect okay so right after getting in you can get into library and you have got multiple options here subject kits is there monthly bill challenges are there starter worlds are there which is under water right now i'm i'm getting into how to play so every minecraft when you install it for the first time you will have how to play section and under how to play section if you're using a mobile phone or a tab based on that you can choose an option and i'm going to click on start with the keyboard and here in this case i have got movement place and break everything crying no okay. okay here we are so now right now you can see that uh, it, it, it's actually asking uh, or giving us instructions you can see uh, you can use w a s d are the three, three three or four keys in which you can move left and right and you can use the mouse to look here and there so first of all it is asking us to look at the golden blocks i'm looking at that and you can see some glittering over there and we are able to look around so it's basically a tutorial in which i'm just playing a little bit to give you an idea how to play minecraft that's all now once you do that uh is it at the back okay it's at the back see look at the way the world is getting created and once the world is getting created and we can start walking in front so i'm pressing w as an option and i keep walking and left ke liye a w s a d i keep doing it and you have a lot of options basically you don't i'll introduce everything one by one and to turn around the corners you can use the mouse mouse my mouse is not working properly okay i came from here so i'm supposed to go here okay uh, so if anybody is interested uh, in playing nice mission games minecraft is something that you can begin with it has got interesting features in fact you can even make your own lesson plans of social studies read chapters on max i'll show that subsequent sessions but education edition has got lots of things for even school teachers and even parents the only thing is you need to have a microsoft account to have this which should be an education account so if your school is using this you can actually start playing using the same account okay this is going to be a long way i think we finish this soon and directly get to the world i got sufficient practice of walking and here we go lesson is completed as simple as that now i escape when i escape i have to click on save and exit and my world is completed 
Now, once this is getting completed, then we have another level. We have multiple other levels of, uh, you know, how to take the guns or how not not guns, the axe, and and you can cut woods. You can you can collect materials and lot of things. So right now, I'm going to click on view my worlds, and uh, we have already gone into you know multiple areas. So right now, I'm going to click on my world, which is more into survival now here you can you can actually get uh, a lot of mobs and zombies coming and killing you so before they come and kill you you need to be ready with your own house you need to have a small bed and you can sleep on the bed during the night times otherwise they will not disturb you so in minecraft you also have an option of coding uh, for that you need to press c button and i'll just try and show you in few minutes let's let's see how it gets loaded up and then i'll enable the chat as well for other students to tell what you guys have been doing minecraft on pc can be played uh, but you have to pay for it from microsoft but there are free versions available i think even roblox has got one duplicate version of minecraft just try finding it if you want to know more about it you can join the coding classes wherein i'll be discussing all these things so you can see that I'm there inside a house and there are a few things that I have collected. I'm not going to do much, but still let me show you what and all could be done. So this is my world. And I can see that it's raining already. And okay, my mouse, my mouse is behaving weird. Okay, let's, let's go and, and it's a sheep. Do you want to kill the sheep? It's a poor sheep. Let's not kill the sheep right now. Okay. And let's cut the tree. So when I'm continuously cutting it, you can see that the wood gets cut and I've got the wood in my hand. And if I want to place it anywhere, all I have to do is just, uh, you know, right click in that spot and the wood gets placed. And at the bottom, you have these uh, nine block boxes that are present. And these nine boxes, which are going to be here at the bottom, uh, represents the tools that you have. I've got multiple tools here, but I have only one wooden block. If I have to collect more wooden blocks, all I have to do is go and cut more trees. So all I have to do is just keep the left mouse, you know, permanently, you know, you have to just hold it and it will keep cutting it and you'll get the wood. So you can make your own pick axe with, with uh, you know, creating um, your own axe and other tools, whatever is required. All you have to do, do is just, you know, keep holding it and you can, you can do whatever you want. So you can see that, uh, in, in like I have a wooden block right now and if I want to see what are the materials that I have I have to click on the E button and you can see these are the things that are present with me. Minecraft can be played with friends as well right now whatever I'm going to discuss or discussing it's quite small and very very uh, you know in a, in a short period of time you can't learn this in one day but but with multiple practice you'll definitely get a good grip you'll be able to create your own world and you can play around so let's see if anybody's there okay i can see a nice horse present over here okay okay let's let's get into somebody's house so this is the village where i am present and let's see if okay anybody sleeping okay somebody sleeping i'm standing right on him okay. i bet him and he ran away he thought some zombie has come probably <laughs> so you can do whatever you want okay he's running again don't worry i'm leaving your house and you can go away see he's actually scared uh, after some time, you know, uh, the, the, the weather changes and uh, the day breaks and right after the day breaks, we will close this. You can go around the village, construct your own house and uh, this particular task, wherever, whichever world I am in, uh, it is about creating unity between two villages. That's water. And let me see. So now here in this case, I was talking about coding as an option, right? You can use Python as well. You can use make code as well. And for that, you need to press C as a button. The moment you press C, you will get the coding coming up right over here. And uh, here you can use, you know, chicken drain was one of the projects that I did. Uh, so let's let's do that uh, once more. So when I do it, I can use blocks, Python or JavaScript. I'm going to use blocks as of now for easy understanding. And the moment you do this, you can see that the chickens are flying from the sky and it's falling down. Can we really do that? Absolutely, we can. I click on OK. 
So here you have put in an on chat command and rename it to chicken. So let's let's rename this to. Okay. What else to be done? Okay. So put in an on chat command, rename it to chicken. This done. And right after that, see. Let's go to the next step. Uh, put in spawn to spawn a chicken at your position. Okay, that is the code under on chat. Will uh, you know when you type chicken in the Minecraft, the position will automatically be there, and you can see the hint over here to get spawn animal at so and so block. So you need to go and check where spawn animal is, which is there under mobs, and put it inside. That's it. Let's go to the next step. So in this way, you can learn the coding process using Minecraft. Now change the spawn position to 10 blocks above your player, which, which could be done you know, from, from this coordinates over here. So I'm just going to click on that. I'm just following the instruction, which everybody can do. And let's go to the next step now. Now, once you go to the next step, go to Minecraft, press T to open the chat and enter chicken. You should see flying chicken. Let's see this. I'm playing this and uh, let's come back. And uh, we were supposed to type T and then we can type chicken. Come back. Can you see chicken? Can you see the chickens flying? Okay. That's a cute chicken. So in this way, you can have, you know, a lot of chickens. You can have repeat the same thing multiple times. I can press C this, you know, and I can have loops over here. Uh, once I have the loop, I can have uh, this command present over here and I bring it. Okay. So you can see the hint over here on chat command. The spawn has to come inside. And then I put this whole thing inside here and change this to 100, say, for example. And now I click on play. I come back again. I press T the button and, and, and type chicken and let's see what happens. And, come back and you can see the chickens flying. Okay, that's kind of too many. And these these guys will be roaming in and around. So in a village, you can actually create your own animals to be present out there and you can create everything. You can even create your own world out there. So Minecraft has got coding as an option in education edition, even a normal version. We can have this and we can do a lot more stuff. So right now I am going to close this. I'm going to click on save and exit. And I, I didn't really play Minecraft as such right now because I did not want to. So here I am and I click on leave from this one. Come on, come on, come on. That's perfect. Okay, welcome back, welcome back. Can you see me now? Okay, the mouse, my mouse today, the battery's weak, I guess. Yeah, here we are. So students, this was something that I wanted to talk about Minecraft with coding edition. You can use Python, make code, and I'll be, I'll be having a detailed class on, you know, how it actually works. Right now, it was just an on, on introduction purpose. Over the period of time for creating a whole new world, I'll be using Minecraft. Probably in Code India code, I cannot use the complete thing because I need to discuss a lot other games apart from all these things and hence i am stopping minecraft right now and after some time if you would like to have you know a proper demonstration of how the classes will happen how i'll be using minecraft in the class and other programming languages you can you can click on the demo session that's going to be present in super teacher website you remember yesterday i was speaking about it if anybody's interested to participate in one year coding program which is going to happen only on weekends with 60 sessions in one year uh, with all the topics like Scratch, like MIT App Inventor, uh, like web development and game development and, and make code and Minecraft. You can, you can click on the demo session to know more about it, or you can directly click on register to register yourself. The batches are starting from June 15. 
now i'm going to show you something very interesting and this is a fun oriented game you can create yourself on ai aradhana would you like to create yourself there is this application called as scrubly have you seen scrubly before adavan scrubly no never okay okay i am going to enable the chat in few seconds and at the same time show you scrubly as well i go share my screen and this is scrubly now this is so interesting that all the students out there the young kids okay shorya has started this shorya shorya i remember you very well shorya okay you are that naughty one right <laughs> okay i'll i'll clear the annotation for few seconds because you are going to annotate a lot on this particular screen you can do it by yourself you can visit this website right now scrubly.com and you can click on next and make it move using your body shall we do this i click on next and i'm going to disable the camera over here so that the camera gets enabled here 1 2 3 and here i am are okay mera popot ho raha hai yahan par come on okay let me change this let me change this yes look at my face how it has become it's hanging it is as if i'm shocked to see something okay come on don't be slow system is giving me all okay see i was there i'm just yeah start next next and here we go the camera is on yes Okay. can you see this yeah and now the best part is suppose if i move on this side the drawing will also move along with me if i move this side the drawing will also move along with me it's so funny right now i go back and i use my hands i say this and this and the drawing will also do that now this is with respect to scrubly and it is because of the image recognition you remember computer has got its own vision see even the doll is doing that and because of that it is performing all these activities now if you want to do it uh, for yourself you can click on make your own uh, here or else you can click on the cat let me click on the cat now this is how the cat looks like okay i see up i open my mouth let's see if it's opening oh it's opening the cat is opening the mouth and how about this <laughs> okay i didn't know that this is okay this is nice i just became very old um santa claus Do we have anything else apart from this? Okay, now this is going to be very funny. Everybody is going to laugh. I just became a girl, yeah, and I'm even wearing a sari which is blue in color, and some kind of you know ornaments out there. Let let's let's make our own. Now, if you want to make your own, all you have to do is click on you know make your own, and you will have select the body shape. Ah, uh, you can select one of these body shapes, or else you can go to the next. face uh here and you can get the complete body shape and you have this what you can do is using the mouse you can draw your own shape see this if you want to zoom it in you can zoom in and you can have a stroke style i'm just going with the red because lips are red generally right okay and let me make a monster right now and for that i need white उसका यहाँ पे दांत ऐसा बड़ा सा होगा ओके एंड दैट्स गोइंग टू बी मी इन फ्यू सेकेंड्स ओके एंड लेट मी हैव अ पर्पल कलर का सम बड़ा सा एंड दिस डजेंट लुक लाइक मॉन्स्टर बट स्टिल ओके दिस इज बड़ा सा इयर्स लेट्स सी हाउ इट कम्स आउट एंड देन आई गो टू द रेड आई इंक्रीज द थिकनेस अ लिटिल बिट एंड हियर आई एम and this is going to be my hand so i am making my hand something like this you can parallelly do along with me if you want okay i do this i do this and i do this and i like do this okay i zoom out a little bit and uh, i click this okay oh, that's a wrong line uh huh uh huh and mera bada bada pair like this okay shall we try this now Okay. Hey, where are my eyes? I did not even draw my eyes. Nobody reminded me. I, I'll go here. I'll have the black eyes. The eyes should be scary. Okay. Let's see. This doesn't look like scary. This is looking like one another cartoon. Let's see if it's working properly. So here we go. I have this. Okay. This is fine. This is nowhere looking like a ghost. 
no not at all it's quite simple and i'm just raising my hands i hope it is raising the hands as well that's perfect that's perfect not a problem yeah this is scrubly students i hope everybody is getting an idea one good part of scrubly is you can actually record yourself you know click on record 3 2 1 and i'm going to play something see i'm doing this i'm doing this and you can send this video recording to your parents and everyone else <laughs> this is looking like a cartoon ka ghost anyways let me stop the recording right now the moment i do this okay that's how okay can you see that that's the recording and oman you can you can actually click on save and you can export this as gif or png sequence or export doodle i'm going to click as creating gif and that's going to get saved for 10 seconds send it on whatsapp to your friends make your own scrubly it's a funny activity but very much related to artificial intelligence i hope everybody got an idea ai is very simple right it's not so tough and all yeah it's quite simple ai is all about computer vision and natural language processing so anybody out there if you're interested to learn you know coding you just have to come to google you can you can you know attend code india code sessions or any other session somewhere you will have all the information available you don't really have to you know struggle a lot in learning coding it's a very very simple activity and once you learn that in 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 about some time if you want to become your own you know make your own robot or artificial intelligent uh, you know machine something you can go ahead and do it you can go ahead and do it this is with respect to scrubly and next we are going to have something very interesting and for that i would like to show you something called as here we go so let me just click on done and i'll just everybody is moving actually <laughs> the ghost is moving you guys are also moving yeah did you did you uh, try scrubly.com yeah you can try right after the session i'll show you something else now now this something else is also very interesting and anybody can do it Uh, have you ever come across a situation wherein uh, you know let me stop sharing the screen otherwise and i'll enable the camera uh, i have to disable the camera here in scrubly only then it will work on zoom and here we go yeah i'm here welcome back okay so now after scrubly uh, have you ever come across a situation wherein you know your your parents or your school teacher is asking you to type lot of things and you are very very have you come across situation are you like are you fast in typing i am very slow but i came up with a very nice idea you know what i did now whenever i want to type something i don't type i actually speak and if i have to speak if i speak automatically things gets typed you know that suppose drishti says that ek gaon mein ek kisan rehta tha now can she write it in hindi yeah she can but unko bahut time lagega but if you want to write it very very fast you just speak and it automatically types shall we try shall we try that okay you should also try along with me and um, uh, i'm going to show you how to do that now to type on something i'm going to use a platform called as google documents i'm going to use something called as google documents and you can use your parents help to open google documents uh, for this thing to work you should have internet connection and most of the students out there i'll enable the chat right now if you know how to talk and type you can put it over there if you want to talk about scrubly you can put it over there and in fact here we go so let me share the screen let me share the screen and after sharing the screen i am going to go to this beautiful place called as docs docs not d o g s d o c s docs.google.com and here we go the moment i get into that this is how it will get opened up and no i don't want to take a tour it's okay okay i'll i'll click on plus the moment i click on plus i get the document here students remember for this thing to work uh you need to have internet connection and this is going to be an ai based module on natural language processing talk and type what is it talk and type so here we go i click on this place over here so suppose drishti was uh, saying that once upon a time there i'm typing it there lived a ghost no there lived a beautiful girl um okay 
and her name was drishti how about that okay and and all the other girls so once upon a they lived a beautiful girl and her name was drishti so what i'm going to do is this was something which i typed now if i have to type it very fast i go to tools i click on voice typing and i click this button i click on allow once upon a time there lived a beautiful girl and her name was drishti see it's done i i actually it was not drishti <laughs> it gave a spelling mistake but otherwise everything is working fine can you see sorry anshu yeah dhanya are you able to see this okay okay i'm i'm going to click on this button again and i'm going to speak the moment i click on the red button over there whatever i speak gets properly typed on this document and this is so fast next time onwards i don't have to search for the letters on the keyboard full stop i need to simply enable the voice typing and keep talking full stop done see such a big paragraph we typed it so fast suppose if you want to type the same thing on hindi hindi mein type ho sakta hai kya <laughs> okay let's try dhanya i click on english to yahan pe english click karne ke baad we can select the language as well now this is the application of ai that's happening in and around and hindi type hone ke baad ek gaon mein ek kisan rehta tha see it typed in hindi i don't even have a hindi keyboard it's so simple right prisha hiranya okay what is this guy <laughs> divyanshi okay that's great if you want to type you know in some other language you can you can actually you know select that particular language um, and you can actually type it so say for example let me type agar mujhe hindi mein kuch type karna ho to mujhe hindi keyboard ki zarurat nahi hai that's perfect if i talk in english will it type in hindi okay it is typing in hindi in english now that's that's weird okay that's it i'm just stopping this i'm just stopping this so these are some of the things that i wanted to show you and this is again an ai based voice typing uh, and whenever there is an error over here you can click on enable voice and you can think that now i'm going to ask you a question and you should answer uh you should answer right after this so students have you uh, okay type my name subheksha you know i can't give it for free i i'm not the one who's running it okay shorya yeah don't spam now otherwise the chat will get disabled <laughs> yeah, exactly okay okay bengali also okay we can type in hindi you have that option okay that's fine let's let's continue let's continue now this particular aspect is called as natural language processing of artificial intelligence it's present in our everyday life just like the way you learn a b c d e f g even the uh, uh, the the computer tries to learn all the languages across the globe and you can type one particular aspect over here and based on that even if it is tamil if it's bengali malayalam telugu marathi hindi bhojpuri everything you just have to find the proper app option and arabic or urdu as well and it will start getting typed so you can try this right after this and just like the way we learned about computer vision in nlp this is an application of nlp in fact uh, you know you can even do this on your whatsapp as well on your google keyboard you will have a small mic option in which you can do that i don't think so in zoom we can type uh, no we can't type in zoom i don't think so that that option is enabled but however that that might come down the line in future now let's go to another activity and which will be most probably the last activity of the day and this is going to be related to another small game called as machine learning it's very simple generally whenever we talk about learning as a concept we know that uh, whenever you're born and when you're learning things when multiple times examples are given to you you start learning and when you start learning something it is called as it is called as human learning and if i do the same thing with machines it's called as machine learning exactly exactly yeah yashraj very good morning let's let's get into machine learning concept and this is going to be very very interesting i really love this game twisha right after this session you can get on to this and you can start playing this game i'm going to share the sound and here we go 
So this is Google document. Students, if you would like to join the coding program, I request you to please go to superteacher.in website. And after getting in there, you can select student as an option. You've got all the courses listed out here. You can come down, you can see milestone course for 9, 10, 11, keystone course for 6, 7, 8, but you are all from grade three, four, five, right? You have to click on stepping stone course. Suppose if you're going to grade six, then you have to go with keystone. Now, after that, suppose if anybody's in grade one and two, you can come to here and you can you have baby steps of coding and cognitive development. You will have the complete content present over here. You can click on no more. And after clicking here, you will get the complete portion. What is the coverage? What is the learning objective? And, and suppose if you want to know how it works, you can click on a book a demo class and I'll be there to answer all your questions. You can unmute and you can ask any question that you want. And based on that, we can talk. If you are interested, please click on book a demo class. The batches are starting from June 15th onwards. It will happen only in the weekend. And I will be specially monitoring this batch because this particular batch has come from Code India Code. If a school is present out there and if you would like to participate in this particular program, please call us on the numbers that are present at the bottom, the toll free number and a mobile number over here. You can even write a mail to us at connected the super teacher dot in and we can come and conduct physical sessions in your school. Now, when I click on buy now, you have to register as an option. Uh, say, for example, I am typing my name. My school name, say, for example, super teacher. I click on the mail ID and I enter the phone number. The moment I click on submit, there is an interesting part. All the students who are attending Code India Code have a discount with the promo code of CIC10. I'll repeat it, Drishti CIC10. I click on apply coupon and the coupon gets applied and your fees gets reduced and you can click on pay now. That's all. This is very simple. So this is how the registration will happen. If anybody wants to know what are the programs, how it will happen, what is the timing of the program and all these things, you can cl uh, click on the demo class and you can join on the demo class when I'll be there to answer all your question and I'll allow everybody to unmute yourself that that's going to be book a demo class option over here. Yeah. Let's go to the next topic. Let's go to the next topic, which I told you very interesting. And this will be the last topic, which is called as Google Teachable Machine. Have you any, anybody tried this? Some of you might know, some of you might not. Okay, Google Teachable Machine. Google Teachable Machine is an interesting concept on, um, you know, uh, uh, things related to, uh, things related to uh, where you are coming up with multiple samples and training the machine. Let's, let's teach the machine. Just like the way your parents taught you on what to do, what not to do. Let us teach the machine to do that right now. I click on get started. The moment I click on get started students, this is how it looks like. I click on image project. I can even you know do some dance here, which is called as prose project. Are you good with dancing? Then you will love this. I'm not so good with dancing, but I keep dancing. I dance with Scroobly. You saw that, how bad I dance. Yeah, this and this and this. Let's let's go to image project. I click on standard image model. Uh, now watch this. Now watch this. You're going to have a good fun. Shreem, suppose suppose if I if I uh, you know want to tell the computer when I'm happy and when I'm sad. Okay. What you have to do is I have to you know click on class one and type Vasu is happy. Okay. And suppose if I have to tell sad Vasu is sad. Now, when I click on webcam, the moment I click on webcam, I come in front of over there. And the moment I click on hold to record, see, Vasu is happy. When, when are you happy? When Drishti is showing all her 32 teeth, right? Or when Sarthi is showing all her 32 teeth, you laugh. Mayank will be laughing like, ha, 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 ha. And that's going to be happy. Now, say, for example, what I'm going to do is just like the way Adhya is doing, I'm going to smile, a very big smile, something like this. See? The moment I smile, you can see some pictures are taken and that's going to be image samples. I'm indirectly telling the computer, this is how I look when I smile. Now Vasu is sad. Let me click on webcam. Now, whenever you're sad, you keep crying like this. Yeah, keep crying like this. You do this, you do that. Let me tell the computer that I'm sad and I'm crying like this. I'm going to click on hold to record and I'm crying. That's it. Okay. So there are 29 image samples that has come where I am crying. I look very bad when I'm crying. Everybody looks bad when you're crying. So nobody should cry. Okay. So let's go to the next one. Now uh, I click on train the model. The moment I give the samples, I click on train the model. Now, the moment I click on train the model, students remember, just like your parents were telling how to eat, how to walk, how to dance. Now I am telling the computer, 
uh, how do I look when I'm happy and how do I look when I'm sad? Now see the training is happening. Your parents tell you only one time and you understand, but for computer, I have to tell 50 times. Okay. And here we are now watch this very carefully. See the computer is able to tell me at the bottom that I'm happy. Right now I come here and I close my eyes and it's saying I'm sad. Happy, sad, happy, sad. Suppose, suppose if I do both, you know, I'm here and I'm laughing and the computer is confused. Are you able to see that? See the fluctuation is happening. So in order to give better results, you need to give a lot of samples. Now, are you able to understand what machine learning is? Shall we do one more activity? Yes, let's do one more activity. And here I would like to go. And this particular activity is going to be, um, I'll stop the input here. I'll go here. I'll click on image project. Let me collect some things that are present. Okay, this is me. Uh, this is my smiley pillow. Let's let's try this. Okay, now this is me. If I'm me, then I'm going to hold and record. That's it. Now, if I have to go for smiley pillow, watch this, watch this. Okay, I click on the webcam. Okay, I go away and I hold to record. That's it. Okay, now smiley pillow has come. Now, can I take something else? Do I have? Okay, I have. This is my notebook. So I'm going to click on add a class and I'm going to type. This is my notebook. And now I'm going to turn on the webcam here. I keep the notebook here and it will see that, yeah, it has happened. Yeah. Now I also need to have a class where I should say nothing is present. That means I should not be here. I click on the webcam. I hide myself and I click on hold the record. That's it. That's nothing. <laughs> now I click on train model. The moment I click on train model, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Um, okay. Okay. The training is happening. Yeah. Ria, Rathya. Who's this guy? Sharya, Ranvijay, Tanvi, Janet. Let's wait for some time. Is that a Lamborghini behind Rudrangshu? Yeah, that's nice. Even I love it. Okay, here we go. So I have the webcam and it's saying that this is me. And I bring the pillow. See, when I go away, it's saying nothing. I bring the pillow and it says this is my smiley pillow. <laughs> okay, okay. I am going to bring my notebook. Perfect. That's my notebook. Now let us do one thing. Shall we give another notebook and see if it is working or not? Let's try. Let's try. I am going away and I'm gradually bringing a notebook. See, it's getting, it's getting confused a little bit, but you can see that this is my notebook is fluctuating. Okay. I go hide here. I'm just behind the notebook. Okay. <laughs> Did you see that? So everything is getting confused. So let, let's have all of them together on the computer screen. I have the notebook, I have the smiley and everything. Let's see. I am also there. And this is how you can confuse the computer programs. The robot gets confused and multiple things happen. Now this is called as machine learning students. So here you can also create your own programs on differentiating between different types of food as well. Even in your chapters, you have got multiple, uh, you know, areas. Say, for example, let me open a project from the drive, which I created, which is related to components of food. Uh, suppose if you have or, or, you know, Priyan, she has an apple in her hand and she wants to see if apple is rich in proteins or carbohydrates or anything for that matter. She can actually show it in front of the webcam. And based on that, the computer will tell whatever it is. But for that, you need to give information before. information So here we go. I click here and I click leave. And in two seconds, that's going to get loaded. And carbohydrate ka spelling galat hoga shayad. Haan. I did not change it. I did not change it. Okay. Now this is carbohydrate, all these banana and things like that. I have broccoli over here and I have, okay, let, let's train the model. Uh, let us see. Mera photo kis pe rich hai? What do you think? If, if I come in front of the camera, will I be rich in protein, vitamin A, vitamin C? 
or carbohydrate we will try this and we'll close this and here we go on 3 2 1 i am rich in protein <laughs> because i have worn a white shirt and it is considering me to be the milk over here yeah suppose if i cover the mic wait just no, nothing is happening so basically you need to come up with your own food item uh, i don't have any food item as of now i need to go out and probably if i have that if i hold a banana or or a mango or or uh, you know an apple in my hand it will tell exactly what carbohydrate it is what protein is and what vitamin a is what is what is it rich in so in this way you can have machine learning concepts coming for everything that is how it is happening even in your mobile app in some of your mobile app you know there is an app which says that uh, you should eat so and so food item in order to become very strong and and that happens with machine learning process let me let me stop sharing the screen right now i click on stop share and i go enable my video over here on zoom never <laughs> okay <laughs> okay okay that's fine not a problem okay uh suppose if you want to have so students if you have any doubts on coding classes and things like that ha huh, subeksha yeah okay out of uh, you can you can type the message healthify app exactly healthify app has got all these things and there are a lot of other health related applications in which you have all these things so this is with respect to machine learning so today we did something on minecraft we worked on google teachable machine we played a little bit on scrubly as well and all these things were quite interesting so tomorrow again back again it's already one hour i'll i'll come back again with code india code and the last day will be related to scratch mit app inventor and how we are going to transfer the actual program from the computer to a device how can we transfer a program from the computer to a robot can we really do that absolutely i can do that i'm going i'm going to make some programs on my computer transfer it to my mobile phone and show you how an app works so i would like to request all the students out there to come for one last time tomorrow at 10 o'clock and we will have a bang we'll close the session with the fantastic applications which you all can start using right now right now yeah you can do it right now like like whatever topics i'm talking about websites i'm talking about please make a note of it and start using it right now so this is going to be quite interesting coding is quite interesting artificial intelligence and machine learning is exactly human being it's 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 going to be another version of you but it is not going to have life you are the one who are going to create it and i'm going to guide you on in that creation i'll repeat if any student out there is interested in a coding class which is going to happen for one year with me right now because of coding in like code india code students ke liye especially uh, you can use cic 10 as the coupon code and the batches are starting from june 15 you can you can start you know working on over here yes dude out of dude don't spam over here dude i'll not be able to talk to you then later <laughs> okay and and who is that do not spam okay okay that's fantastic okay it's not cool exactly is that's not cool yeah let's let's be good sincere citizens there's going to be a topic called as digital citizenship you know that digital citizenship is all about how to behave online yeah it's going to be a very interesting topic we'll talk about it anyways thank you so much students it was great interacting with one and all i would like to request everybody to visit superteacher.in website book a demo class and i'll be there to allow you to unmute and we can have all kind of interactions if anybody is interested in one year coding pro program parents please look at the phone numbers book for a demo class and i'll be there importantly if a school principal or a school teacher is present out there please call us on the numbers or write uh, uh, to us on connect at the rate super teacher dot in i'll i'll try to come to the school and conduct physical classes as well thank you so much it was a great sunday a game day now it's time for me to go out and play Have a nice time. Take care. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much. Bye, Vedika, Archisa. Okay, we have got Ria. Archisa, I like your, you know, this thing. I mean, what the what do you call that? Headband, right? Okay, Shorjit, yes. And somebody had Lamborghini at the bank. Okay, Mayank, Danya, Ayansh. Okay, bye, 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 everyone. Ruthvi. and students everybody attending the coding program will get certificate from iit bhubneshwar that's another thing that i wanted to tell you and i forgot if you want to be part of any facebook group and telegram group you can see the link that's coming on the chat i'm going to disable the chat for a few seconds because of that yes okay adhya bye there was too many byes and sushmita you can put the telegram and facebook group link on the chat so that the students can participate there here we go abhilasha vaishnavi 
yeah i hope you everybody woke up oh you also have soprano i i have this heart in symbol and you have the glass one yeah that's okay see okay that's okay we'll see you again have a nice time bye 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 okay we'll play more games again uh i'll introduce you to some other games where ai is present and tomorrow it's going to be massive on coding with respect to scratch and mit app inventor yes tejasvi hanshul mariam hitika sharanya rajanya okay rajanya is angry oh she's happy now <laughs> subeksha i called your names three times four times ayush devansh surbhi okay atiba that's nice priyam okay bye everyone bye everyone have a nice day enjoy your sunday swasti shoparna shreyam yeah everyone that's great that's great chalo i'm closing my video and the session i'll see you again tomorrow have a happy sunday take care bye bye